video we'll be taking a look at the glip screen recorder now as you can see it is here on my home screen it serves as a two-in-one screen recorder and a live streaming application so let's launch and let's take a look at what this app has to offer so upon launch it will ask you to sign in with your google account now let's skip this sign up for now i recommend that you sign up so that it can save your information on your settings so as you can see here it is quite a simple application on the home face or the the preview interface we could see that we have a few settings here so as you can see the option at the top that says fix teammates not able to hear your voice commands in game you would need to allow permission to access the accessibility settings so you need to go to accessibility you need to select glip and turn on the settings for accessibility now let's go back and as you can see that arrow at the top is gone so we could actually tap on a few things here we could tap on achievements and games and we could see a few things there now in order to start recording we need to actually set up our application so if we should select this option at the top here that says start recorder as you can see we have a few settings here now we have the video settings the audio settings and we have additional settings and so on so let's tap on video settings now the best video settings that i'd recommend is to use custom custom will allow you to set your custom resolution your frames per second and the bit rate now if you aren't an expert at customizing these things i'd suggest these following settings to you now 1080p is typically a good settings to to actually use when you are recording as if you use a higher resolution this might cause a lot of storage to be taken up by the screen recording and 1080p provides a smoother recording um, experience now the default fps which i'd suggest is to use between 45 and 60. now this all depends on the, the capabilities of your device if you have issues with using 60 fps you i would suggest that you set this to 45 fps on your device so that would Give you a more smooth feel while playing and screen recording and live streaming at the same time now the bit rate i'd suggest you'd set it between 8 and 10. this is basically the transfer rate of data from the video recording to your storage so between 8 and 10 megabits per second is a good settings but set it at 10 and see how well your dev device fears with that and then if if so set it at eight if you're having any issues now if you have the let's say an ultimate device like a device which performance is at its peak you could actually record at 4k or actually at 2k and as you can see they're advising us that we might face performance issues with these resolutions however if you have a powerful enough device which can handle these settings i'd suggest just go with the full 4k resolution 60 frames per second however 1080p 60 frames per second is quite decent now let's go back and audio settings now as you can see we have a few options here now in-game audio and microphone is supported by android 10 and above and i know most of you are using like android 10 and above devices i currently have android 8 on this device i'll be up updating my device soon so keep that in mind if you have android 10 you could easily use the internal game audio and record microphone however if you don't have that option i'd suggest that you just record the microphone that would basically be you talking so let's go back out of audio settings and we have a few additional settings here you could change the storage location set a countdown timer before recording starts or you could enable the floating icon to start the recorder the floating icon would basically provide you with options to pause stop or start the recording now let's go back and as you can see here there isn't any much more settings here we have the option to set it as landscape or portrait and so on. now at the top we have standard resolution for replay now basically this will basically capture the last 60 seconds of a gameplay 
and you could have that to replay now let's go back and once you are through with settings setting all of these settings in this application you are good to start clipping which would basically start screen recording now let me go back out of that and that's basically how to set up Glip Screen Recorder, one of the best settings for your device. Now you could allow permissions, you could allow storage access, um, microphone, camera, and so on. So basically, this is a unique screen recorder, one that I have messed around with it a bit, and it is quite useful, it is quite smooth and easy to navigate. So this is it. If this video assisted you in setting up Glip Screen Recorder, please be sure to leave a like on the video and comment any other settings that you think might be ideal when using this screen recorder. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Hacker 7 out.